Hello fellow truthers and YouTubers. So I came upon some very interesting news from a reliable source that I've been following for years. And apparently it appears that Saudi Arabia did not get attacked by Iran or Iranian forces or Iranian missiles at all. In fact, who they did get attacked by, well, I would say Israel, but in large, it's the UN. Because <laughs> Saudi Arabia has received, um, received the debris, collected the debris from the missiles that were fired at the refinery that shut down apparently 50% of the whole country's output for oil. And they stated that Iran took the blame and Iran did it, even though that is falsely accused and falsely stated because in the debris of the missiles um <laughs> this is just this is just way too funny to you can't even make this stuff up so basically on the on the debris you could see um the letters on the cruise missiles you could see the lettering and the lettering clearly says m e and a few numbers you could check this out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Um, it's probably going to be, well, it's not going to be released in the mainstream news, but you can find it on the internet and plenty of articles. So, yeah, so it has the initials ME slash some numbers, and that signifies UN, uh, UN missiles, because Iran doesn't put um, American lettering ME or MEC on any of its missiles because they're Arabic country and they just don't do that period and who does that is the UN the United Nations um, and NATO uh, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization you know that organization that uh, was built against the Soviet Union and Russia and has never been dismantled to this day that was supposed to be dismantled well, UN and NATO, they kind of work together, so you get that aspect. So, yeah, basically, so the NATO missiles that fired into Saudi Arabia, and it even states, came out of Kuwait. You know, that country, that proxy little rich country that supposedly Saddam Hussein, you know, invaded, and that's why there was the first Iraq war. But, uh, so clearly, and... On some of the missiles, they, there was actually big parts of the missile that were um, found in the debris, so remaining parts, and they showed the design, the, sch the schematic of the design, it came from a NATO country uh, called the Czech Republic, which is a NATO country, and they, they pr provide a piece of the missile, piece of the missile to the you know compiling of the whole cruise missile so they provide that crucial piece that's in the front end piece and that's clearly just the uh, Czech Republic design so it was so that part they get from Czech Republic and uh, s strangely it was found and discovered in the debris that Saudi Arabia that just put out so which is kind of stupid of them because now the whole picture is out there's there's like three clear pictures of the uh, debris of the you know damaged missiles and <laughs> on one of them it says ME initials ME and uh, numbers and on the other one is a front end, a big front end of the missile which was made by the NATO country you know NATO um, assigned country of Czech Republic so how would Iran obtain a NATO missile in any logical conclusion that is illogical so you can't make this up so it was definitely a NATO um, cruise missile which signifies a FF well I could say it I'm not a you know big youtuber basically a false flag just like uh, New Zealand was the recent false flags New Zealand Notre Dame uh, Cathedral and you know a few other mass shootings but I'm not gonna get into that right now um, yeah so this latest false flag attack which which was uh, you know intended for Saudi Arabia 
the second largest ally of United States besides Israel. Um, yeah, so it was it was a strike, a false flag strike by their own NATO forces, which <laughs> nowadays, you know, false flags don't work as good as they used to on 9-11, of course, which was the biggest false flag, the first one that took away all our freedoms, all our privacy for the, you know, betrayed sense of security this 24-hour everyday surveillance you know nsa like snowden disclosed and uh, wikileaks julian assange disclosed um you know privacy gone privacy for total security total domination total surveillance system of every citizen so there is no privacy nowadays and that is just like that is a known fact privacy is dead privacy is gone with the smartphones, fingerprints, face recognition, all this stuff. I'm disclosing this info because I'm not a big YouTuber and doesn't hurt me to create another channel. So yeah, the latest false flag is Saudi Arabia, which they even say is um, uh, remnant or compared to a Pearl Harbor, even though this is not the United States that was attacked. This was Saudi Arabia. This, And it was probably perpetrated by israel whose wars we fight you know they fight we finance they finance our wars and we send our s soldiers on the battlefields to die for israel and yeah so iran is responsible somehow iran didn't take blame they stated that it wasn't us they what when they when they struck the what what was it the 200 million dollar drone they said they were responsible for it because it flew in their airspace and they're gonna continue shooting down drones or aircraft that fly in their airspace which is prohibited but this recent attack on saudi arabia which is the new pearl harbor which as a false flag has failed miserably like the other false flags that failed miserably because people are waking up and there's less fear now you know people are waking up there's a great awakening there's an upheaval of goodness and wholesomeness in this country still because there's still logical people unlike how they think that we're all sheep and you know they come to us as sheep in wolves you know as wolves in sheep's clothing so i'm just delaying relaying this new information to you and stay tuned for plenty more videos to come because I got reliable sources. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will relay more information as it comes to me. And I have plenty of videos coming up. I'm going to make a few today, I promise. So if you like this video, share it, thumbs up, you know, subscribe, please, so I can get a little more coverage area. Um, because I got some important information. I'm not going to kid you around like the mainstream media i have no um ill will intentions i'm not sponsored by anybody you know i'm just the truther just like many people on youtube who are waking up and we gotta stick together you know because they're trying to shut us down and we're not gonna let them so i'm k i'm signing out till my next video so have a good day and god bless the usa you know jesus saves May God be with you. Godspeed. Take care. Bye.